This will be the second part of my loopy boot tutorial. We finished the first part with our sole, booty sole, and now I'm going to show you how to crochet the toe top. In order to start, I like to start at the back with a slip stitch. So I'll just take my hook and find any stitch in the back and just insert my hook into the stitch, wrap my yarn around, pull through, and I like to wrap both the tail and the extra yarn that I'm crocheting with around in order to secure it and just pull it through. Now I'll let go of my tail and I'll chain one. That way it's not going anywhere. Okay, now in order to do this, it's going to seem a little complicated because I count kind of backwards when I do these. I will be looking at the toe top and counting back from there. And I know it seems a little strange, but I told you I don't like to count because every time I count um, around in a circle, I always get them wrong. And whenever I do them this way, I always get them right. So in order to do this first round, we're going to take a look at the toe top. Remember when I told you how to find it from the last video? This is the center of the toe, right here, this little hole right here in the center. And if you look up from there, you'll see that these two stitches mark the actual toe top. What we're going to do is we're going to decrease right from here. That will be our toe top decrease. So we're going to decrease these two together. And then we'll work backwards from here going this way because we crochet around this way. So we'll count back this way. The next one after the decrease will be a double crochet. Then we'll have another double crochet. Then we'll skip this stitch here. Then we'll half double crochet and then we'll skip this stitch. So I hope you're following along on your work. And now we'll count how many single crochet we need from our join space to right where your finger is. Hopefully you've done that with me. So let's go through that one more time. Okay, you want to find the center of your toe top. It will be different for all of you, I promise. You want to go straight up and get those very two stitches at the tip or the toe top, the very toe top part of your boot, and you're going to decrease right here, these two stitches together. The very next stitch will be a double crochet, the very next stitch will be a double crochet, then you'll have a skip space, then you'll have a half double crochet, and then you'll have another skip space. And all of the rest of the stitches that are left right up to your join, right here with your new color are all single crochet. So I'm going to count mine and you count yours and then we will crochet up to where our finger is. So for me it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stitches to get to where my thumb is holding the increase. It could be different for you. Maybe you have less stitches, you have more stitches, doesn't matter. I have 13 and however many you have, you're going to crochet that many till you get to where your finger is. And then we'll all be on the same page. So I'm going to start mine and you do yours. And I'm going to crochet right over my tails. So uh, there's less to do later. So I'm going to do regular single crochet counting that however, whatever number it is you got to get to where your thumb was. So this is two for me. Then we have three, four, these are regular single crochet, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I've seen people do these with stitch markers, I've seen them do it with whiteboards, it looks really complicated and scary, but 
honestly, if you do it this way, you'll never be wrong because whatever you do on this side will automatically be mirrored on this side and then it doesn't matter how many stitches you have going around because you're just working in the round anyway. Okay, so let's just make sure that we're right. We're going to look again at our center and these are the two stitches we're going to double crochet together. We're going we're to have a decrease there. Then we have a double crochet, a double crochet, a skip, a half double crochet, and a skip. Okay, good. So we're right on target. So now, I hope you're all caught up with me. We're going to skip the very next stitch. Forget it even exists. We're going to go right over it. And we're going to half double crochet. So to half double crochet, we do yarn over. We're skipping that next stitch. And in the next stitch, we'll put the hook through. We'll grab the yarn. We'll wrap it over. And we'll do one half double crochet. Now, in order for you not to see that gap so much, you have to put some tension on your yarn. If you leave it loose, you're going to end up with a problem. You'll end up with a big hole there that's noticeable. So when you skip these stitches, here this next one will be another skip, and then in the next stitch, we'll skip this, and we're going to double crochet right there. So yarn over, hook through, pull your yarn back through. Now you want to make sure that you keep some tension on the yarn so it doesn't get loose. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops. I'm sorry. Okay, and that's our first double crochet. Okay, and then we'll do another double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and now we're at the toe top. Now in order to do a decrease here, we're going to do yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull the yarn back through, draw up a loop, yarn over, and we're just going to go through these first two loops yarn over, put it through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and then we're going to pull through all of these two loops here, the two loops, and then yarn over and through the last three. Okay. Now we're going to do the next two stitches. We'll do one double crochet in each stitch. So the next one is a double crochet. Then the next stitch is a double crochet. Okay, then we're going to skip the next stitch. So we're just basically mimicking what we just did. We're going to skip the next stitch, yarn over, and we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. Now make sure you hold your yarn tight. You don't want to let it get away from you. And pull through for a half double crochet. You can see how our toe top is starting to bow in. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to single crochet all the way back to the join to our to where our color was changed where we changed our color. This is regular single crochet all the way back. It doesn't matter how many there are, how many you have. We're not counting these back. The only thing we're counting is from the toe top down and just along one side because whatever we do on one side, we'll do with the other. So you want to go all the way back. Okay, we're almost there. Maybe you have a little bit more if you started a little bit more ahead of me. Okay, so when you get to the to the to the join, you want to slip stitch into that top right there. We'll slip stitch, and um, I'm just going to crochet around. I'm not going to chain or anything. I'm just going to keep going. So in the next stitch, we'll slip stitch. Uh, I mean, in the next stitch, we'll single crochet, and then we'll single crochet again, and then go around the heel, single crochet all around the heel. Okay, till you get a little bit further than what the heel is, and then we'll pull out our yarn a little bit and take another look. Okay, you can see now how the toe top is starting to to form. The next round will be, now you can see, here is my center, right here. And right here is the center toe stitch, where we did the two stitch decrease, right there. So this is where I'm going to have a single crochet. 
I'm going to have a single crochet here. I hope you're following along with me right here. The next stitch will be a single crochet. Then the next stitch will be a skip. The next stitch will be a single crochet. And the next stitch will be a skip. Now what I need you to do is keep your finger on that last stitch, the last skip stitch. And now we'll just count however many of single crochet you have back till you get to the last stitch you stopped in. You might have more than me, you might have less than me. As long as your finger is on the same stitch that my finger is on, we'll all be good at the end. So I'm going to count my stitches. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more single crochet to do. You might have more, you might have less. So I'm just going to keep crocheting till I count out my seven single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now, here we go. We're going to skip the next stitch. I hope you've caught, not, caught up with me. We'll skip the next stitch, and we're going to single crochet in the next stitch, pulling, pulling my, my work together. You see how I put some tension on that yarn? I want to pull it together so that I don't see a big gap. So now, let me show you. I'm going to skip this stitch and I'm going right into the next stitch with a single crochet and I'm going to pull my yarn so it's a little bit tight. I don't want to pull it too tight or it'll pucker. And you don't want that. You just want it to come together. Okay, we're going to skip that next stitch and in the next stitch I'm going to put my yarn, my hook through and pull a little bit, a little bit of tension and pull through and single crochet. Now I'm going to single crochet in the next two. So that's one single crochet. And then single crochet in the next stitch. That's going around the toe top. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to skip this next stitch and go into the stitch after it and pull my yarn a little bit. Put a little tension on the yarn, pull through. Then I'm going to, this is the last skip. I'm going to skip this next one and single crochet in the next one. Okay, now if I pull my booty back out, you'll see now how the toe top is looking even more like a toe top. And because you put a little bit of tension in the yarn, there aren't that many holes or gaps. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're just going to single crochet all the way back till you get to the heel of the boot. You might have, I don't know, you might have more stitches than me or less stitches than me. It doesn't really matter. We're just, all of us should have the same amount of stitches. We're just not counting them. So just go all the way around to the back of the boot and then you're going to go right around the heel. Don't worry about joining. Don't worry about chaining. Just crochet around. One single crochet in each stitch around. Here we go. This it might get a little tricky where you joined it in the last round, but just go right through those stitches, right around the heel. We're not increasing the heel because we want it to be nice and tall. When you get around the heel, we're going to stop again and pull out our yarn and then count again from the toe top. Okay, so you can stop anywhere after you've gone around the heel. Okay, and then we're going to straighten out our work. Take a look at the center. Now in this um, round, what we're going to do is we're going to look for those center two stitches. You can see them right here. that kind of peeking right at us. These center two stitches are the ones that are right in the center of my boot. So I'm going to start with the one on the right. These are the center two. And this one will be a single crochet. The next one will be a skip, the next one will be a single crochet, and the next one will be a skip. And I want you to keep your finger there, and wherever you left off, we're going to count how many single crochet we have to do to get to where your finger is. So I'm going to count back, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six more single crochet to do to get to where my finger is. 
Remember, you might have more or you might have less depending on where you stopped. So let's all crochet up to that point. One, two, I have six, three, so that's how many I'm going to do. Four, five, six. Okay, now when you get up to that point where your finger was, what we're going to do is we're going to skip that next stitch and we're going to single crochet in the next. So remember what I told you about tension. You don't want to leave your yarn loose like that because that's going to create a big hole in your work. See, if you, if you don't pull that tight and you just single crochet leaving it loose, you get a huge hole. You can see that. That's not what you want. It's not cool for baby booties because little toes can get stuck in there. So what you want to do is you're going to skip that stitch. You're going to go into the next. And as you're putting your hook through, you want to pull your yarn. Put some tension on that yarn. And then you can work your single crochet and you see the difference. It's a much, much smaller gap. And then we're going to skip. Let me fold this down so it doesn't... There we go. Okay. Then we're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next. Pull your yarn. Put a little tension on that. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do two more of these. I'm going to skip that next stitch and single crochet in the next, putting some tension on your yarn. A little bit more tension. There we go. Okay, and don't worry that it looks pinched now. We're going to flatten it out when we're done. Okay, the next one you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next. Put some tension on your yarn. Okay. Now we're going to single crochet all the way back to the heel. It's very simple. Just keep going all the way back to the heel. And crochet right around the heel. Okay, and here I am going right around the heel. This is the heel portion, and I'm going to stop right here. Pull my yarn out, fix my booty, and you can see now how the toe top is starting to look. Take some shape. Okay, there we go. Now the, the next row, this will be our last row before we start the, the loop part on the top the actual boot part that goes up. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our middle. This one might be a little tricky, so in order to do this one we might actually want to fold the boot in half because the center stitch now is really hidden underneath all the yarn that we've already crocheted. So in order to find the center it might be easier if you just fold it along that center foundation chain and try to get it flat and then you can kind of eyeball it from the front. So I see right, right away when I fold it in half, I'm looking for the middle three stitches. So I have one here, one here, and one here. So this is the center right here. That Can you see that right there? This is my center stitch. And then I have one on either side. So I'm going to take that center stitch and just hold it with my finger so I know where it is when I open up the booty. Okay, that's going to be a single crochet. The next stitch will be a single crochet, then we'll have a skip, and then the next stitch will have five slip stitches. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five slip stitches. So put your finger right there. Okay? And what we'll do now is we'll count how many stitches we have to get until our finger. So I have one, two, three more stitches, three more single crochet to do till I get to my finger. You might have more. If you have, if you, if you found that your finger gets in the way of where your work was, you have to pull your stitches out. So I'm going to go three more. One, two, three. And now I'm going to slip stitch five times. Okay, in the next stitch I'm going to slip stitch. So all you do is put your yarn, your hook through, wrap the yarn over, pull it through, 
and right through. Now you don't have to pull these really tight because you'll hate yourself later when you're trying to crochet them because slip stitches can get really tight. So that's two, three, four, five. Okay. Now in the next stitch, we want to skip this stitch. This next stitch gets a little tricky in the toe top when you're working around. We're going to skip this ne next stitch and go into the next stitch. So don't forget about your tension. Okay. So I'm going to skip this stitch and I'm going right into here, into the toe top. I'm going to pull my yarn a little bit, put some tension on that so I get those stitches together as much as I can. And then I'm going to single crochet. And in the next stitch, the very next stitch, we'll single crochet. And in the very next stitch, we'll single crochet. Okay, and that is the toe top. Now I'll skip that next stitch and I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Don't forget about your tension. Pull your yarn. Whenever you're skipping a stitch, you want to pull your yarn. Okay, and this will be, oops, I lost my yarn. Hang on one second. Okay, so we're going to skip that stitch, go through the next stitch, put a little tension, and slip stitch. So that's one. That's your second slip stitch. That's your third slip stitch. That's your fourth slip stitch. And that's your fifth slip stitch. Okay. Now what we'll do is we will single crochet back to the heel. We're not going to go around the heel this time. We're just going to try to stay in the center of the heel. Okay. And if I open up my boot, I can see where the center of the heel would be. It should be right here. And then you just slip stitch to the lat to the next stitch, and then we'll finish off. Okay, and in the next video, I'll show you how to make the loop part.